we're on. Hello, everybody, and welcome to It's the Liquor Talking right here on WCRN AM 830. And we are broadcasting from Julio's Liquors on Route 9 in Westboro. Welcome to the show, everybody. Oh, uh, thank you, Randall, for gracing us with your presence two seconds before we go on the air. <laughs> I'm the birthday boy, and the party doesn't start until I get here, Ryan. Oh, uh, uh, it's going to be one of those days, is yes. it? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to take the veil and down. You, you are the reason that it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> we'll I'm going to later in the show. Yeah, I am the reason for uh, trust me. I, I'm used to being blamed. OK, <laughs> uh, is this going to be a whole show thing where you're going to be the petulant child? Yes. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> Get so, used to it. So pretty much like every day, except you're going to show it on the air. Right, exactly. Now, okay, now we see the truth. Hey, listen, speaking about petulant child, it's time for Ray to make his way to the dais. Now I'm going to have, now I get, now I get two, two prima donnas. Two, two prima donnas. Yes. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Just lucky to be me today. I would cut that short because, you know, Ray, yeah. it's my birthday. So all your pomp and circumstance and crazy parading around is going to detract a little bit from my birthday <laughs> happiness. I'm just going to point out your birthday was yesterday. Yes. <laughs> Birthday's over. Oh, the, oh, do you have a birthday week? Yeah, it's yeah, that it's important. All right. Here we go. Okay. Ray, aren't you so lucky you showed up today? Oh, yeah, very lucky. Yeah, he's very like, lucky. yeah, Ray's like, yay. <laughs> Randall's birthday. Uh, how old are you now, by the way? Old. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Methuselah old. Methuselah old. All yeah. right. All right. We are we are live and we're ready to go. Um I don't know why Vinny put we're live, but we are live. So I I think I'm going to go I'm going to go with well, that. Ray anyway. as always has brought something hopefully delicious. Let's yes. get into that. Yes. Hey, look, first of all, before we get into the one before we get into the one of the week, I want to just say last last week we tried the uh Midnight Sellers. Oh, uh, our new edition. one, the Mooncraft, yeah. and we had our we had our event last week, which was what I did this summer, and it was all about all the different projects that we that we had going on, and it was the release of the Mooncraft from Midnight Sellers and yeah. stuff like that, and also my pre birthday celebration, and also Randall's pre birthday. It's going to be a okay. weird day. Uh, also, Randall. <laughs> so anyway, Midnight Sellers, Midnight Sellers wine release. Yeah, well, that's um, that was last week, and I just want to say. It went off fantastic, Ray. How many how many cases that we go th did we go through that day? About nine. No, yeah, I yeah. mean it was crazy. Yeah, it was nine. crazy. And that was yeah. just drinking it in the store. That was just Ray. <laughs> Ray <laughs> yes. drinking it. In the store. That was just Ray. Wow, impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, impressive. I mean he's not. But um, and and I don't want to forget to get to this because uh, in conjunction with that, there is a Midnight Sellers wine tasting October tenth. That's past your birthday celebration, October tenth, seven to eight p.m. Uh, go to Julio's Liquors. Go to the um, go to the 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 uh, tasting and event page. Scroll down, you'll find it. Uh, Heather's coming in to do. Uh, Heather Christensen's going to pour six delicious Moon Knight Midnight bottles, including the Mooncraft. Right. And uh, it's ten dollars gift card to go, and you can bring a friend. So two people on the ten dollar gift card, and you can use that ten dollar gift card towards a great bottle of wine. And go. And Ray's going to be there. Yes. Yes. Do you want to? Do you want me? Do you want? Do you want me to tell people about the new the new Ray thing? Yeah, L Ray. Oh. So we we the Ray and I one. yeah Ray and I had a meeting. You weren't there, Randall. No. <laughs> Ray and I had a meeting. Not bode well. Yes, <laughs> not bode well for you. Now Ray and I had a meeting, yeah. and we decided that after the after the radio show, that uh, from like twelve to two. Ray is going to do a tasting upstairs on the on the sales floor. It's going to be in the Angel Share Room, okay, which is at the end of the wine wine room. And Ray is going to whatever we taste on the air. Ray is going to have that. Then he's going to pick a selection of of wines that he's going to have on the tasting machines. Okay. So we're going to call it El Ray and the Machine. Okay. So it's not Perfect. a rock group. It's not. It might be a discoteca, but it's going to be Ray up there, and he's going to be there from uh, twelve to two. On Saturdays, so when you hear the wine of the week, Ray will be doing that plus a couple other selections every every Saturday. So um, new fun thing to do. Um, and today's a selection like, of all the grape ones. Yes, right. Your Absolutely. grape grape grapest hits. 
I don't know. I can't. The grapest it's. Yeah. Anyway, um, but this is going to be cool because you've opened this bottle here for us to taste. I did. And then people may be hearing about that, going about their day on their errands, and then they can stop in and actually right. see what all the fuss is about. We will be stopping that at a hard 2 o'clock because we get the, we get the beer fest today at 2 o'clock, exactly. 2 to, right. to 3.30 today. Exactly. So we'll be going through that later on the show. But I, I, I digress. We need to get to... El Ray and his wine of the week. Yes. So what's the wine of the week this week, Ray? Uh, I thought I'd do something a little unusual. So what I have. <laughs> well, here... it's Randall's birthday. So, yeah, so, that uh, makes like, sense. Perfect. Perfect timing. So this is a uh, selection from a, uh, a uh, grape grower and winemaker from the Cahors region of southwest France in an area called Languedoc. Uh, it is called Petite Clos. Triguendina. From, Petit Clos, uh, if you say it with an accent. Petit Clos Triguendina. Right. Petit meaning small. Yeah. Clos Tiny. meaning small. You know that, Randall. Wall. Yep. And uh, R- Randall, you probably know this. Triguendina no. was a Roman emperor back yes. in the days. So uh, Cahors is an area uh, known for its Malbec. People think Bordeaux. And that was... The yes, black right. wine of Cahors. Correct. That's Yes, exactly. So even though uh, it used to be grown sparingly in Bordeaux, it's grown pretty substantially in the Cahors region. Now, Randall, you may not know this, but the word for Malbec in French is cot, C-O-T. So that's what they call this wine, cot. But I digress. So, uh, the, well, yeah. yeah, but that was that was always one of the Malbec was always one of the because it can be used in in Bordeaux, right? Yes, it can be used in Bordeaux, and that was always the like I don't want to say secret, but it sort of was like the 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 secret ingredient in the sauce type thing. If they needed something that they wanted to darken up the color and, and add a richness, they would add a portion of Cahors, and that was like right. Correct. Am I correct on this? Yes, you. And are. they would use they would use that to like. Um, Darken and, and and a lot of times enrich the wine blend mm-hmm. that was coming out of Bordeaux. That's exactly it. So you didn't I, think I knew all this stuff, I, did you? I, I, I'm impressed. I, I did not know that. I did not know that. I do my homework. So Jean Luc, uh, I don't has... show up one minute before the radio show. <laughs> On your birthday. On my birthday or any other day. No. <laughs> Go ahead. Fred. So sorry. So uh, Jean Luc uh, Valdez uh, in Cahors is called quote-unquote, the king of Malbec. Uh, this well, the one, king of Cahors, and don't say that wrong either, Randall. <laughs> <laughs> so here we got a, a wine that's uh, about 85% Malbec, about 15% Merlot. Uh, basically, the Merlot is giving it some uh, roundness, some fruit. You get density and length from Malbec. There is no oak in this wine. It is all stainless steel, so you get a, a kind of a freshness that you don't get with uh, oak-treated uh, wines. And, uh, you know, unlike uh, its cousin in uh, Argentina, uh, this particular uh, style from Cahors, uh, and Ryan said it about the, the black grape, uh, basically you're getting black fruit out of here, black yeah. blackberries, black blue, yeah, blueberries, currants, spice, kind of a savory uh, nice. tasting wine. Uh so this is selling for twenty two ninety nine. We have a fifteen percent discount effective today and all through next week. As Ryan mentioned, this is also available to be tasted this afternoon. Yep. And I can explain it a little bit further when we have people tasting it. Twelve, twelve to two. Ray will have this out there for you 12, guys to try. Twelve to two. And, 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 and this is a really nice wine. Actually, you know what? I, I'm just thinking. I was going to cook bur- burgers tonight. When I got home, and I was going to use my, I, I, I love this thing. I don't know if, you, if you've seen it. We sell it upstairs, but the flavor cue from Steve Eulis, um, you basically can use on your on your gas grill. You can use uh, like these wood pellets, and it's it really great. Oh thing. wow! And so I'm going to do that, and this is what I'm going to have: smoked burger with this particular yeah. wine. Right. Yeah, I think this would be great. So beef, lamb, yeah. game. Uh, lamb would be great, but I can't get him. I can't talk Jennings. Let me do lamb burgers. I, I didn't. <laughs> what time is this event? Uh, it was yesterday. Oh. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> Ray's going to get up. I feel like I've game. been excluded from this. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it's your birthday. I want yeah. you to feel extra excluded. So uh, Ray's going to get upstairs. He's going to get uh, get going 12 o'clock right. to 2 today. Ray and the machine, come down to Julio's and check it out. Yeah. Thank you. And that's that. So Petite much. Chloe Cahors. Yeah. Right. And it's uh, uh, from Jean-Luc Valdez. And like I said, King of Malbec. And you won't be disappointed. The King with of Cahors. You will not All be right. disappointed. All right. We got to wrap it up. The, All right. Ted's yelling at me now. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Ray. All right. Did y'all know we're going to get out? No, we're not out yet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're out. What'd you think of that one? It was whiny. It was whiny? Oh, that was a good one. I like that one. So Thanks, Ray. I mean, you know, you keep talking about darker flavors and stuff. It yeah. just seems like it's a richer, more intense. Yes. Is that what that's? Yeah, it's, it, that's, that's, uh, is that synonymous? Synonymous. Yeah. That's the right word. Yeah. So, you know, I'm trying to learn some of the lingo. Yeah. He would said Malbec. Is that not a French word? Malbec is also a French word, but not particularly for France. I mean, it's okay. the name of the grape. So it's you, that ma- the word Malbec is usually used. Yeah. It, 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 they're interchangeable. Some okay. people use cot. I think that a lot of the older crowd, like Ray, sort of uses the, that 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 terminology. But most of us young guys, like yourself, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, today's your birthday. You can't use it anymore. It's caught to you. Yes. No, no. I'm, I'm just teasing you. But uh, do you want anything special for your birthday yesterday? I'm trying to think. I worked on the the car. <laughs> it was yesterday. You're that well, old. I mean, do you have early onset Alzheimer's? Yeah, exactly. It's, oh wait a minute, it's not so early anymore, is it? I'm using I, uh, your own joke against you. Yes. How does that feel? Well, I uh, I had a delicious uh, dinner. Oh, that's good. And uh, anything you can lunch, tell us? Yeah, yeah. Well, lunch I too. mean, it was lunch was made, but it's kind of being held against me, to be honest with you. <laughs> If I did mention the dinner, I have to mention the lunch. I don't know. I already got corrected on that before. Okay. L- listen, so, I don't want to get this. The last politics, thing. W- right. Listen, you're my buddy. The last. Uh, we kid around a lot, but the last thing I want to do is get you in hot water. So why don't you start with the lunch and finish with the dinner? Okay. What did you do for lunch? Uh, I had a lunch cooked for me. Nice. Yes. What would you have? You say a sandwich. I'm going to punch No, me. no, it wasn't. It was like <laughs> some rice. You know that we had laying around, and so, yeah, wasn't that it's it's being made a big you know, deal by I'm just gonna point the partner out, than it is by me. Yeah, I'm gonna and point out that I tried, wait, Yeah, but wait a minute, I'm trying to help you out by telling yeah. you to do the lunch and the dinner so you don't get in trouble. And the first thing you do is downplay the lunch. Yeah, I mean, like we took a break because <laughs> I was working on a car. Yeah, which I found this under the seat. Oh, and I thought we could do okay, a taste yeah. of that. Yeah, because that is the. Um, Special edition from a few years That's back. That's right. Of Lot 40. A ride that we did in Canada. Yep. And uh, that was working on the car, but there was a lot of uh, cleanings. There was a condo meeting on the repair of the porch, which fell mostly on me doing it. So it wasn't uh-huh. really much of a. Wow. There you go. Pretty exciting. There's Pretty a lot of stuff. work involved for a birthday. That's why I'm looking for you to redeem it. And the reason I'm being so tyrannical is because you always post a picture of me <laughs> for the birthday. <laughs> And yes. I'm going to try and see if we can get that picture printed because I don't think that should go out on the internet. Why? Really? Because that's that's a career damaging picture. Is it? I think so. You think so? Hmm. Um, Somebody's Vinny, looking up on LinkedIn v- and they come across that, they're going to go. Yeah, but it's obviously a buddy of yours did it, yeah. right? I don't yeah, think yeah. that's you think you think so. Maybe. I think it's endearing. I like it. Okay. Let's let's let the audience decide. Uh, Kindas and Vinny uh, can go on my Facebook page, pull that picture down, and put it on this and we can sort of say yeah and then it's out there for everybody to see <laughs> i'm waiting for you to i was yeah. waiting for you to realize that yeah all right we're gonna go we gotta come we gotta come back to the show okay so uh we're gonna go back on air i won't embarrass you anymore Hello, everybody, and welcome back to It's the Liquor Talking right here on WCRN AM 830. And, of course, I am joined here by the incomparable, the one, the only, thank God, Randall J. Bird, spirits medium to the gods and birthday boy. Yeah. I'm the Swami uh, from my loving mommy. 
I, I was Swami from another mommy without buddy. a seer. The spirits medium, Randall Bird. That's right. Um, hey, this uh, th- this week we want we, we did want to do some stuff special for you. John and I were talking, and we wanted to do some yeah. special stuff for you. We had we had John Taffer was in on Wednesday doing uh, stuff with the brown his brown butter bourbon. Okay, went over great. Huge, 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 huge. Well, huge John is a, is quite the mixologist. So well, I'm sure the stuff he came up with. Wait, but... wait a minute. All right. So, oh, boy. all right. Thank you. Um, I'll take one. This for me. involves fire. Yeah, it does. It does. So. Uh, we wanted to do we wanted to do something special. Hold on, let me light that bad boy for you. There we go. Can you see that? That's yeah. pretty good, right? That's like a torture. Yeah. And 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 there you go. Happy birthday to you, Randall Thank Bird. You. <laughs> oh, here's Kenny. Justin, I should have oh, put the I food did. out earlier. Yeah. Kenny, Kenny shows up. This is some kind of uh, little biscuit looking cinnamon. This is what thing. we call barrel rolls. Yeah. And uh, this one here is a. Apple butter cinnamon sugar barrel roll. Well, Kenny, I've already blown out the candle. You Happy birthday, you Randall. Randall. Thank you. Do you want me to light it for you again? Yes, I, I would. That I, I, would it for I would like to be here for Randall's birthday. Yeah. You are. You're right here right now. So Yeah, but I missed the candle. No, here. That here, blows. Here. Yeah. Blow out the candle. Re- reenact <laughs> it for go. Kenny, will you? And then I held it up, and I was like. There you go. I'm doing just yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, happy birthday, Randall. And, of course, the beverage wish for himself is here. Late. Uh, late. Everybody's late this morning. Apologize. <laughs> That's okay. I apologize. Well, we get, well listen, we had, Ta- we had John Taffer here Wednesday. I was just telling the story. Yes. Uh, John Taffer here Wednesday. And we did a bunch of cocktails. It was a cocktail out with John Taffer. Check it out. It's on uh, Spotify. It's on our Facebook, uh, Facebook page. It's also on our – and John says I should mention this more. We also have a YouTube page. What about Roku? I, I don't know. We're working on that one. I guess I, there's another one I got to get to. Anyways, um, we were making cocktails. And Johnny, is this the is this the cheesecake one? Oh, oh, the recipe's posted on Facebook this Live. This is cheesecake. It, it looks spo- like a Cape Cotta. It's supposed to taste. <laughs> this is what they told me. It was supposed to taste like cheesecake. Johnny didn't believe him. I didn't believe him. So we said, well, John says I'm gonna make it, and we're gonna see if it tastes like cheesecake. So eh. we figured we'd do it with eh. with Randall. Strawberry cheesecake, maybe, but still no. Yeah, no. Listen, Man. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now. It's, it, I'm gonna give it to New England. It's not bad. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a decent it's, it's a decent New England. drink, right? Can we just you know what the problem? I don't think it tastes like I don't think it tastes like cheesecake. I'll tell you what the problem with this cocktail is, the name, because if it wasn't named cheesecake, cheesecake you would just you enjoy would, it. you would enjoy it as this kind of rich buttery mix with some of that. Well, strawberry. I'm gonna tell you right right now. We we. Johnny made those. The, remember the uh, airplane, that, uh, paper, paper plane, paper, paper, yeah. paper plane that we had. Yep. Johnny made those for the thing. Those went over like a big hit. And then they did two other. Hmm, well, I'll try some of this. Oh, this is good. Too. Did I miss the drink of the show? No, nope. I mean, the birthday. We did not the Randall's birthday drink of the show? No, we did not. No. Okay. We did good. not. These I mean, are great. These barrel I mean, I rolls. I deserve awesome. to, but yes, I'm glad I didn't. But we no, did that it's... one, and then we did what was the other one, John? I got him right here. Hold on. I don't know why. Hold on. Here we go. Boulevardier. No, we did the apple cider Collins, and the and we did a um, a seasonal creep one called the Jingle Bell Punch. Those are really good. That paper plane, John, though, John John stole the show. That that thing was like killer. No one will believe me. I had a guy in yesterday. I said like, oh, he it said, ah, I love paper planes, and I said, you got to make this recipe. It's really really good, and he wouldn't believe me. John, you know just, what my uh, problem is what? with the paper plane. Well. All the other drinks ingredients are specified, and amaro. And as we know, as I know, oh. amari fluctuates in different. You know, so I'm going to so tell radically. you. I'm going to give you the the lowdown. They they do put that, but I'm going to tell you what. Usually, you would use uh, amaro uh, nino amaro. That's the sort of the classic that's been no accepted. nino no nino yep. amaro. That's the accepted sort of like amaro you use for that's paper. That's a good for one. Paper. It is, and it is. It's very good. However, John used the Amaro from Bully Boy. And, Local. And so it's a, it's and a, it was it was it was insanely good. So it's a yeah. mass hole paper plane. Yes. Or we call it we call it what, what we call the other one you made? Tailspin. <laughs> but they were no, it was really, really good. It was it was excellent. So uh go check out go check out the uh go check out that that video. It's really, really good. John's over there making um, some other stuff for us, but I thought that we would do you. 
what do you want to do? Do you want to, well, what do you want to do? It's my drink birthday, the show? Ryan. Yeah. I want to do this drink. <laughs> so Kenny, I was, you missed uh, the whole petulant child. I know it's right. usually normal the way. He acts. Right. This is, I'm the, the, the yeah, I'll pour angry you. birthday boy. But, <laughs> um, yesterday I was dismantling, you know, a Japanese domestic market vehicle, right-hand drive to move the seat back four inches. So I have to build so we a can custom, in. make some, is that the van for it? And nope, it's the Toyota Sarah or Sierra. Yeah. And I found it? S-E-R-A. Got it. You've I found under the seat this bottle. Yeah. Um, which is goes back a little ways. Oh Wait yeah, definitely. Second. Is that the previous owner or is that one that no, you no, 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 this is what he did. You don't understand. But I Randall couldn't reach car under the seat. While. Right. If something fell under the seat, it's gone. Well, you know why he's moving it back so we can drive the vehicle. Right. He, right. Needs, he needs the extra room. Right. right. So, but so if he drops something under the seat, it's it's, that's where it fist. stays. This <laughs> has to be pre-COVID. Oh, easy. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, um, what is this COVID you speak of? Right. So, as you taste this, I will tell you this right is now. Cast this is strength. Wait, wait. Taste okay, it and see wait, if you wait, enjoy. Wait before we taste it. Can I just say happy, healthy birthday? Many Thank more drinks of the you, show. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Nice. Okay. Clinkies. Now we can clinkies. I mean drinkies. That'll get him to shut up. All right. Oh, that's pretty good, dude. Oh, so this really is um, nobody's business uh, what it, we're drinking right now for my birthday for, but we're happy to tell you it is the now unavailable. Yeah. Lot 40 Canadian rye aged in the French cognac. This was, no, French, this was Sherry? French oak. French oak. Oh, that was French, French oak. oak. It's, this one is 70. I remember this one, too, and you have it listed here because I wrote it down. That's my handwriting. It's 75% uh, French oak. That's why you couldn't read it because it's my hand, handwriting. Because you but were it, a pharmacist. Yeah, in, I, another I, I, in another life. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, that's that's really good. It's uh, was really good. Barrel number 705. It was blend 705. But you can't really... say there's none left. I see some in there. Right. <laughs> but this was a sample bottle that when we picked or approved of this, and I believe this won a bunch of awards. It did, um, it including best, best, best Canadian rye whiskey of best that Canadian year. Rye? Yeah, it's just whatever awesome. that was. So, oh, since it is your birthday, and okay. we have given you your birthday present, and you were acting like a pet show, here's here's your crown. Yes, yes put your crown you. on. All right, I, I couldn't put this on crown. while uh, Ray was here. Yeah, I know because, he'd get upset. Know, we'd and, be and 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 Kenny, I got you something. So there's your birthday present. Oh, which, Kenny which and means, you got me. Which means no, which, Ryan got it, and he's oh, giving me thanks. credit. Yeah. Which means I owe him money after the. Oh, battle. nice. Well, I got. I've I got been him waiting a nice bottle. for this uh, to save up some he's money. He's been but. he's been uh, coveting this bottle for a while. So uh, the Glen Gas Glasso, Glen Glasso, uh, Sandin, the Sandin, which is the number, which which, you know, usually I'm not one that you know me. I'm usually not one that falls in for the best whiskey of the year, that type yeah. of stuff. But that. This was blended by Rachel Barry, who uh, John's over there already geeking out because he's a big, big yeah. fan, fi- big fanboy about Rachel Barry because she's uh, uh, Dr. Rachel Barry, I should say, because she is she won the best whiskey of the year last year for uh, Advocate Whiskey Advocate, right? She also had another whiskey, I think it was number ten, so she had two whiskeys on the top ten for Whiskey Advocate, and by Whiskey Magazine, she was named Blender of the Year. Yep. So she had a very, very nice care. hair. Don't I don't care. You don't care. I, but I tried the whiskey, and I'm like, Do you sell that's these delicious. Here? Yeah. These are excellent for those of you watching on the radio. That's I mean, right. TV. on the radio, TV, <laughs> everything. We're, we're, we're multi, we're, 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 what is it, multimedia? Yeah. We're definitely multimedia. One-stop party store. Get great gifts plus the wrapper for it. And, uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to, I mean, this, I think, is gone, right? We got it's, more. It's, we did get more oh, in, okay. but it's it's it's, it's still very hard it's still to get. Limited, and, still uh, to get. I've been looking forward to this. Now, I put a bottle aside. Please. My roots start with the uh, single malts in Scotland. So, right. um, while we do a lot of stuff about bourbons, or today with a rye from Canada, because uh, clearly you've gone awry. <laughs> yes, but I've definitely um, that the crown a little bit of a malt head from Scotland. So I'm very excited about this. Thank you so much. No, you're welcome. That's awesome. You're welcome. Now, can we stop the petulant child? No, no, no. Stop or start? <laughs> Stop. You missed it when he came I was in. Throwing a fit. <laughs> He's throwing a, throwing a, a, a Well, definitely. and the reason I'm throwing a fit for those who don't know uh, oh, you is to wear that for the show. No, no, no. I, put that back. It doesn't. Really... I don't care. I don't oh, yeah, care. That's... We'll tape. Hey, John, get the stapler. 
We'll, we'll get yeah. it. The tapler. The tapler. The tapler. We'll okay. get it. We'll we get it. Get a strap. Yeah, they, oh, I like it that it's that it's a skew. It's like, I like kind it. of like, like yeah, I like it. You know, it's oh, skew. We've That's totally good, gone yeah. off the rails, but I yeah. need a picture of this. But speaking <laughs> of off the rails picture, the whole reason of the petulant birthday child started because you post a picture which is incredibly embarrassing, and I say career damaging. Really? Right. Because he had you if over you a know barrel. me, you will understand why it's funny. Yeah. Right? Like, the picture is funny. But people who see it and don't know me can't unsee it. Well. And, like, if I were applying <laughs> well, for a job and you it. found this on LinkedIn, I think it would really. No, I didn't find I it on LinkedIn. It's not, it's not on, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. No, it's no, on my personal page. I know, page. but I'm just saying that's why I, <laughs> right. I, I say this is, like, career damaging. Okay. This yes. picture. Okay. Do you want me to take it down? No, no, no. I'll take but it if people no came in, what I was thinking was, if you want to see this picture, and I don't want it to be blasted out or posted, <laughs> we could print out a physical copy. And then show and it And then the if air. John has it at the tasting thing or people come in to ask to see it, they could see it. Because I really don't want this getting out all over I'll the take internet. it down because I don't want to. No, no, no. You understand what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I, like, I get it. I get it. Like, it's very it. funny. There's nothing lewd about it. There's oh, no, nothing. not at all. It's not like a crazy picture, but like. It kind of is like ridiculous. So I thought, and I got a chuckle out of it. Right. Listen, here's the problem. Because you don't. This is me, not. But right. you're going to look not, at this and think this this person's a crazy. This person. is not out of. <laughs> this is not out of out of the ordinary. Right. And I understand that. So no, it's people want to know. That's even the craziest quote riding a barrel picture I've ever had. <laughs> Do you want to know the, the one I'm one? talking about? I get the yeah. other one. You want the other one up there? I can hit, I can take that for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, so I think anyway, it's a very cute picture, and I think it's really great. And that led to the petulant birthday boy uh, shtick, as you can see if you ever seen the picture. But why I would be. All right, we get we get to, we get to take a break. Petulant well, Kyle, would you want to get us out of here? Yeah, if you're wondering what's happening or what you're <laughs> listening to or what you've stumbled upon on AM radio 8:30 on your dial, it's the liquor talking. We're going to take a commercial break and continue through. The other side of these commercials with the radio broadcast, but with some video content on Facebook Live in between. Sure. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. We're not on the, we're not on the air of the radio. Now I'm gonna tell a story. <laughs> uh, so the petulant, the pe yes, of course it does. It, you know what? As a matter of fact. Um, don't do that one yet. Let's do. I'm still on the drink of the show. It's really all right. Good. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Keep drinking the show. We're gonna, when we come back, I want to do John. I'm not John's drinking the show. John, I'm John, having John drink new, of the yeah, show. Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> the the petulant child thing. Yeah. So Randall and I were on with a mutual friend of ours <laughs> on a trip to Scotland, and and although Randall is pretending to be the petulant child, our other friend was being was. The petulant was child. Being the petulant child. Was that person like jet lagged or why was the. No, no, it's just that be normal. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> no, more it's their personality flaw. <laughs> so Randall and I started like, like, see, we were jet lagged in being like, like giddy. schoolboy yeah. giddy. Yeah. You know, that punch drunk sort of thing where you're like, you've traveled, you're on, now you're on a bus and somebody's just complaining. And we started doing the petulant child like voice and, yeah. and mannerisms. And it was only making him matter and matter. Which made so him which more like more a child. child. You knew you were taunting him. Yeah, of course oh, yeah. he did. Of course he did. He's a friend of ours. He knows the rules. He knows the rules. This is not this is, wasn't something new. And I and at one point I said, You know you're making this worse. Right. And he goes, I know I can't stop. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, and so, so, so the biggest like, you're, like I'm just going to piggyback off that for a second. Sure. If you're if you're traveling, and you're planning a trip, and you yeah. have twelve people like herding cats going in different directions, all at different states of awake, drinking, reasons for being right. there, you have to kind of hold it together a little bit tighter than <laughs> yes. what this individual was doing because. There's a time and place for it, but it's not on a bus. You're supposed of to be the people. one. Yeah, well, you're the one that's supposed to be. We're running this trip. <laughs> we're the ones that are supposed to have, and it only made us even worse because he was being bad, and then we were being just as bad because we were egging him on. Like it was, it lasted for maybe about an hour, and that was long enough. And we all yeah. came to, we all like, like reined it in, but yeah. it was too funny. It was too funny. All right, that, but there's plenty of other stories that I can tell that would be career-ending yeah. if you want that. Did you um, happen to remember to give 
Randall, what I brought. No, back I did from not. And he, nope. <laughs> oh. As a matter of fact. All right, ten seconds. We're coming back, so I will give them on the set. Okay. I will give them when we come back. All right. All right. And we got a couple other things we got to get to, including the question of the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to It's the Liquor Talking right here on WCRN AM 830, and we're broadcasting from Julio's Liquors. Go to julioslickers.com. You can also watch the show on Julio's Facebook page, and after that, Cousin Vinny makes it uh, available on wherever you get your podcasts, such as Spotify, and we also have a YouTube t- channel. Here, I'm going to take that down for you, Kenny. Cough your brains out. You're good. Yeah, and if you're wondering uh, okay. why you Don't can't water. see the crown that I'm wearing, it's probably because you're listening on the radio. That's true. Now we're going to bring we, in, in by the way John took pictures which is not going to be good anyways. <laughs> we get we might replace that other sure. picture with that picture. So, you know, just keeping in, in in contact with everything like that. All right. You know, before we before we get into everything else, let's do I got to do two things. First of all, Kenny oh. Kenny travels Now why Bucky's. what is this bag? It's the Bucky's like, bag. Ken, yeah, Kenny Brackalacky. Here you go. You t- I took and one. You did. You, get, you were on a business trip, and then you managed to get over here? Well, yeah, well, I was on a quasi-business trip, but uh, oh. it was a um, – I mean, I just want people to understand the magnitude of Bucky's because I was like, what can I get Randall? And I yeah. was like, well, everyone can use nail clippers, but only Bucky's nail clippers have a bottle of bottle bottle runner runner, yeah. on the back of them. Yeah. Now, I'm going to – That's now, awesome. Thank now, you. I've been embarrassing you. Now I'm going to embarrass Kenny. Kenny was down in North Carolina on a business trip, right? And so I, I said, well, there's a, there's a Bucky's in South Carolina right over the border. It's a couple of miles over the border. He said, I want to see if I can get to that. I go, well, don't, you know, I mean, we don't need anything. So, like, if you, no, no, I got to go for my, I, I just, I got to go see it. It's two, he texted me, it's two hours away. I go, don't bother. What are you doing? He calls it's me back. He goes, I got something for you. <laughs> so it's like a four-hour round trip. And it was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, because I spent, well, it's funny, I, my friend down there, whose name is Steve, um, his, you know, there, there was bad, Helene was there, yeah, right? Yeah. And so he lives in Wilmington, and we decided to drive to South Carolina for two reasons. I was telling him about Casa Azul Tequila, and South Carolina is not a control state, so right. we went to search out some better tequila than they have in the state stores near him. And then also we went to Bucky's, but he said his dog, Woody, is unbelievable and just is so chill and just stays in the backseat of the pickup truck the whole ride. Now, we did have to bribe him with some Bucky's uh, beef jerky. Beef jerky, (laughs) yes. That would be inappropriate. (laughs) But the whole way there, Woody was so mellow. And then, you know, we got to talk because there's a couple of business things that – we may be potentially working on. No, right, so you turn so this into a, great, a business trip too. Yeah, and by the yeah. way, in that in that parking lot, there's a liquor store. That, yeah, that's where we went. Yeah, so and we went. have Casa Azul. There thankfully. you go. We're gonna get. We have not got that in Massachusetts yet. I'm just so I've that. never seen a a keychain on a nail clipper. It has the bottle opener, and then I don't know if you noticed that detail. The file. But there's a little emery file diamond <laughs> grit thing for. I did not. You know, I didn't, no, touching I didn't up open the, it. that uh, that. Now is that ESA too. compliant? I don't yes. think so. And by the way, the other thing that I I got but I didn't bring in and I should have, but I forgot like three things because I was running late. You were running out the door. But uh, somebody sent me a Mastija liquor in a beautiful bottle, and I was going to bring that for us to try. And then they have at Bucky's they make on site those candied pecans. Like yeah, I don't need those. I, well, that, so that's why I figured I would bring them for Randall. <laughs> that's yeah. right. And then um, possibly kill you by... Kill me by association, yeah. which well, is always that, great. No. That's not the goal. No, I know that wasn't the goal. <laughs> You're not family yet. <laughs> family would have done that. No, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Um, you know, let's, let's, let's do a couple things today. Let's First of all, let's do the, let's do the question of the show. Ready Seven. The Seven. We're going to try and write this ship. No, we're gonna we're gonna Put bring the it back in. Back on the yeah, yeah, let's rails. see if we can do this. Um, here here you go. The, the the larceny question of the show this week is: the shanty is a classic British mixed drink of beer and what? Shandy or shanty? shandy? 
shandy. Oh, S H A. Fancy the first no. time. No, it's not a song. Right. No, a shandy. Yes. Is a classic British mixed drink of beer and what? And the, your questions: uh, A. Earl Grey tea. B. Lemon soda. C. Cola. Or D. Tomato juice. The shandy is a classic British mixed drink of beer and what? Do you want to go first? I'm, I'm going to go B. Yeah, Bruh. B. B. Bruh. B. You're going B too. Bruh. I always get this confused with a shrub. B. 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 Sure, do you? Yeah. Is that like the 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 knights who say need? Yeah. A, a classic shrubbery. Well, no, but the shrub drink right. and the shandy are like kind of. A, you were talking about old people call bar calls. Yes. For wine, so I feel like this is definitely. All right, you guys, back you guys the answer is uh, lemon. Is B lemon and, soda, and the soda. answer is B. And the answer is B. <laughs> yeah. You guys got that one right this today. Good job, good job, and so did our audience. Our audience got some. Yeah, uh, it's yes, and, and it is. It is typically called uh, somebody else is putting it lemonade, which is a British type yeah, of soda. No, it I, is. It's yeah. uh, the lemonade. There is a soda, not yep. a. Yep. Back or as I would say in New England, a tonic. Right. My, my kids make fun of me so, for calling it a tonic. This is a funny, funny. Uh, it's not that funny. Okay, it's a story. <laughs> yes. From uh, Scotland, I was working there, and they were talking about lemonade, and I was thinking traditionally lemons. Country time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> not. And they were talking about lilt or a citrus-based soda. Soda. Right. Yep. So it could be almost anything. It doesn't even have to be lemon does, centric. Does Fever Tree make one of those yet? Well, it's funny you should say that. So here, here's, the, here's what we're going to do. So I did, this, I did this question because today is the Fall Beer Fest, right? Yeah. Falltober Beer Fest today, Saturday, October 5th, 2 to 3.30. We have over 25 local breweries. you got to come. If the, sale, if the tickets are off, off sale online, don't worry. We, have, we still have tickets for sale. Come into Julio's for 2 o'clock, and you can get one then. And you can bring a friend of the same price. And you get a, it's a $10 whole card. I mean, excuse me, $10 gift card. So you can spend that. So we, we did this, and it's also basically it's also, oct, uh, it's Halloween. October Oktoberfest. It, yeah. Has Randall used his favorite word yet? No, no, no he's refused to now. He refuses it. to now. We so twenty one jo- minutes left. We yeah. can get it in there. So Johnny Johnny on the spot made us a a, a German bourbon bourbon rattler bourbon rattler for Oktoberfest. It's good. So you guys have that in front of you. Um, Very good. He's, he used West, of, West Stefana uh, beer. And he uses four ounces of Fever Tree sparkling Sicilian lemonade. Answer uh, to my question. There, answer to your question. <laughs> and uh, one ounce of Wild Turkey 101. Ooh. So. Wait, um, can, I it, make, can I make a very off topic uh, public service announcement today? As long as I'm drinking this drink while you're doing yeah, it, sure. May, maybe it's just for Ryan. Worcester Academy Homecoming is today. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be here at the beer fest. <laughs> mm. For those Johnny, that's that's really good. You both attended Worcester Academy, right? We did. We did. We. What were you? Uh, you were a year or two? Class of eighty. Class of eighty. You're class of eighty, which is double my IQ. Yeah, I think I'm like four years. You're older four than years you. older than me. Wow, you're really old. <laughs> I mean, you have to I'm, say that on I'm, Randall's I'm, birthday. I don't. Well, he's old too. He's older <laughs> than me also. I'm too. I'm the it's it's really terrible when the 58 year old is the young chicken on the set. I don't understand why people <laughs> try and like. That's really good. Go job. younger. I like this a lot. There's so many built. I've realized that I could be an occupant of the villages down in Florida. <laughs> yeah, you could. That be. I get discounts at movie theaters now. Mm-hmm. You know, so there's a lot of benefits, and everyone's trying to pretend like they're ten, shaved ten years off or whatever. Well, here's the thing: I'm here's leaning the, into the other side of it. No, well, here's the tr- here's the here's the trick: is you want to be older but not look it, right? So or act when, it. Or well, that we got that covered, Danny. <laughs> we got that covered. So when somebody says, "Oh, I'm like I'm 58," oh, you, I didn't think you were that. I didn't think you were that old. I'm like, well, far thanks, <laughs> I right. guess. But that's what it is. And what do you? How old are you? Oh, you add a year to that. 59. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm just doing that because you wouldn't say it. Well, that's not that I'm worried about it. I know, it, I know. But it surprises a lot of people, especially when they see that picture that you just posted. <laughs> I took it down. I, oh, took, it down. I, I took it down. 
I don't want listen. You're listen. right. You're right. I'm not thinking about that. It's, it's I'm like, thinking of that because you're my buddy, and I'm not thinking about that. And so I'm not correct. ashamed of the picture at all. You should be. But a lot of people, because <laughs> I do goofy stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But like somebody who doesn't know me, like if I were to go to apply for a job, I get it. And they're searching, and and they and they, people love to do this. I don't understand this why they can't ask you what your references or credentials are. <laughs> they have to like go in and try and like, find yeah, out yeah. if you're doing right. like some yeah. weird, crazy backstory. And there's no context to explain. And, any and here's of those. the worst part: Randall has really no online presence at all right so and the so only thing he has so the only thing he has is the stuff that i'm putting up there so I, I, listen i could have put the blanket when you remember the blanket one where you were wrapped in the blanket oh, yeah. from uh george dickle there's another one where i'm like kind of like a boudoir photo but like i'm fully clothed but outside of george dickle laying on the wall yeah i got that one you know i have so all of these they're all like like oh let's be goofy and the do pickens, something like but... out of the pickens uh barrel riding yeah uh, side of dr no, dr no there's that one. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of them. There's the one where there's the one where you were doing a malt angel in the in grain the grain up at Balvini. At Balvini. At Balvini. a good one. Yeah. But they're I all have, they're it, all in it, like all, these all actually caused rules and policies to be put in place afterwards. That's not a joke. After we did the um, the blanket thing at George, so George Dickel filters through a wool blanket and then they dispose of the blanket. And so I'm running around wearing the blanket like a cape, and then they're like, "Okay, lock that cabinet. Nobody's ever allowed to <laughs> no, touch these again." The and no so one's allowed to touch when that. When we did ever. the Malt Angel, um, it it kind of started a, a slew of other people trying to do the same thing, and they're like, "Okay, we're not spreading it out over the floor. You have to stand up and can't be down in the malt." Isn't, that we're isn't David use. Stewart uh, from Belvini? Isn't he Sir David Stewart? I believe. I, so, I believe yeah. so. He should be. Yeah. So uh, all right, Randall's out doing that. So. Hey, don't I don't want to forget since we get just a second left. I'm going to try something and we'll come back on it. Bourbon dinner, six to nine, Tuesday, October eighth at Fireflies. Call Fireflies. It's going to be great. Five zero eight three five seven eight 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 three, and it's filling up. So uh, you're going to want to be there. It's going to be Maker's Mark, and we're going to taste the Maker's Mark next. Let's see, you're up against works. it with the deadline, and so is it's the liquor talking here on WCRN. We'll be back after this commercial break with more of the show. Please stay tuned. All right, we're we're out. All right, so the bourbon dinner this this uh, this week on Tuesday night. Is, Kenny, are you around? Tomorrow morning, Vegas. All right. Well, uh, so yeah, it's tough. We're gonna actually show our. We're actually gonna show our little video that we did about the creation of the next whiskey. Here, pass that down. Oh boy, Johnny, you want some? Thank you. And so we're going to talk about the creation of uh, Pitmaster Prime, which we're on our fourth barrel of. Wow. Four, fourth barrel of this. And this, uh, Randall and I sort of came up with this whole concept of doing uh, – Steve wanted to do a bourbon, but we, and we could pick a barrel, but we sort of came up with this concept of something that he could, he could uh, duplicate over and over and over again. And the Maker's Mark program, which is a, which is a stave-based program, lets you customize the bourbon. So we went with this and not thinking that like, you know, it would, it would happen. We are on the, the fourth barrel Bitmaster prime 4.0 is now out. Yeah. So this is good. It's, it's like, we're very proud of it, but also um, just as you'll probably see in the dinner, being able to pair it with something delicious, like the barbecue. It oh yeah. This is goes everything I about drove it. by that uh, fireflies the other day. Firefly. Sorry. Yeah. Fireflies. Um, I get it. I wanted to walk on that new Lake Williams uh, little boardwalk. Oh, thing. yeah. Was it open? Yeah. And it was it was a fun thing to do. Um, but uh, but I did drive right after that. I went east a little bit and I did go right by Fireflies. And I was like, I was thinking you should have stopped them for lunch. They have a great. Yeah, yeah it's for lunch. I mean, I went there like at oh early. Yeah, I was there at probably, you know, the worst part about driving by that is they're they're smoking. They're smoking the meat outside like yeah. all the time. Every time I drive by there, I get hungry. It's it's bad. I got to be going there now. That <laughs> yeah, I time it so I can go. In, uh, you know, know what my secret is? What's up? I'm always hungry. There you go. I was going. <laughs> He's the house now. <laughs> I was the going reference. to do a store check at the Whole Foods in Sudbury. So there you go. You had to way. make it by there. No, well, that's that's good. But this dinner is going to be great. This is the first dinner of the season. 
I will point that out. It's first to enter the season. So we, we're already lining them up. There's one and there's going to be obviously one uh, in October, November, December, January. And we'll be doing one in February, which will be during our Go Whiskey Week, our big whiskey yeah. festival. It'll be is that, that one. the one that Icelandic is helping with? That is the one that Icelandic nice. is helping with. As a matter of fact, I got all <laughs> of our all of our Icelandic uh, product out here now. I was very happy to see that they they Does avoided. Uh, yeah, you can take that. You're good. Um, I was very happy to see that they avoided the um, the the shutdown at the ports because I was the worried about getting a national longshoremen association. Yes, and they 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 postponed it, so to speak. Yeah, until... no, that would have that would have afflicted a couple of my brands, uh, Vita yeah. Coco and Icelandic. Yeah, and uh, so that luckily that was uh, sort of avoided. For, for now, anyway. Averted. averted. I would have had to have averted, you're the right. boycott, except I was in an international stevedore <laughs> union. Were you? Yeah. I oh. didn't know if you knew that. No, I did not know that. They kind of compete with the longshoremen. <laughs> stevedore. And he's worried about a pitcher. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is, this thing goes out every week. But he's worried about the pitcher. <laughs> this, Johnny, I got to tell you, this this is the, I really like this uh, yep. this, this drink. Great job. Bars. Better yeah. than good. So if anybody's like, and a rattler is similar to rattler is similar to what we just talked about in English. Andy. Andy. Right. Yeah. Oktoberfest cocktail. Everybody should get one. It's you know really what? Good. Randall's favorite word cocktail. No, it's not. Autumnal. Uh, no, it's not. Sasakaya. <laughs> yeah. Randall's favorite word is Sasakaya. Or Spatsburgunder. Spatsburgunder yeah. is second. Well, I just like the word. I don't, yeah, I just I don't know anything word. about no, the wine behind it. Anything about it. Do we have any it. Sasakaya here? No, I think we got some Sasakai. I do know that it's a super tusk. It is a super tusk. Here we go. Whatever Going back. Is. It's really good. Hello, everybody, and we're back. Thanks for uh, that's for joining us for our last segment of this week's show. And of course, I have uh, Randall J. Bird, birthday boy extraordinaire right. himself. Birthday boy, me, birthday me, boy. Me, me, me. <laughs> it's all about Randall today. He's yeah. got a crown on. And, but I will say, and also joining us, of course, is the beverage whisperer himself, Kenny Sadowski. Actually, right. let me give you. There you go. I don't want to, I want Kenny to feel left out. I know Rand, it's all about Randall I just today. I deserve to it's be left out. It's all about Randall today. Uh, during the break, we were drinking um, a Pitmaster Prime 4.0. Delicious. Fourth barrel of Pitmaster Prime. This is a very specific whiskey that uh, uh, myself, Randall, and, um, Steve. and Steve Euless came up with to go with his barbecue. So, Andy, And there's a, there's a video about that, too. There's a video. There's going to be a video about that that's going to be out there pretty soon um, that, about us, the whole project and how we did the whole project. And we're going to premiere it at uh, the Maker's Mark Bourbon Dinner oh, at nice. Fireflies uh, Tuesday, October 8th from 6 to 9. A five-course feast. I'm going to tell you. Uh, the first I, four are ribs. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Like, first of all, Steve's a madman. The, the amount of food that we yeah. get at, this, at these dinners is insane. It's $85, includes everything. Um, tax, gratuity, everything, the 85 per person. You know, reservations are required. There are some spots left, but it is filling up, and it will be sold out. I'm going to tell you that right now. 508-357-8883. Call, or just call Fireflies and tell them you want to go to this dinner 6 to 9 on Tuesday, October 8th. You do not want to miss this. It's really And the amount of food, just the volume of food, it's is really spectacular. And I'll give you an example. Please don't do this. <laughs> because they do have takeout containers. But the last event that we went to, yeah, I showed up with a bucket. <laughs> That's not a joke. A full size pail and, and he, filled it with leftovers and left with it. And he's worried and nobody blinked wait, an wait, eye. Wait a minute. And, but, and he's and he's worried about the picture. Right. <laughs> I'm worried about the picture out of context. I'm just teasing you. I'm delightful. May, in may I ask a question though? You certainly may. Are you selling this Maker's Mark here now? Yes, yeah. you can buy Perfect. the you can buy the Fireflies. It's uh, good Pitmaster juice, Prime. people. It's really like good it. liquid. Yeah, it came out really, really good. It was a it. joint project, and so you yeah. get part of the and he get, sells we, some yeah. at the. At well, the, you can get it there, obviously, and you can get it with here with your meal. With your meal, and you can get it here. Yeah. Now, we, Randall and I talk a lot about 
seasonal creep. And we're, we're not huge fans of it. But if you're going to seasonal creep. And that's not just like some creeper dressed in a <laughs> no. raggedy Santa costume. That's, that's like. that's like. Uh, well, it could be. No, it's yeah. like pumpkin spice coming out on the 4th of July. Yeah. It's like uh, it's or like raining on your wedding day. At any it's, point. It's, <laughs> it's, it's right. It's like a black fly in your Chardonnay, whatever. Well, look, I know. I will say that I've consistently now for the last three or four years seen July 31st Halloween candy in Price Chopper and Stop and Chop. I was in Lowe's the other day. <laughs> and I was, and I, I told this story on Wednesday. I was in Lowe's the other day and, and, and there was Christmas on one side and Halloween on the other. And I was really wary to walk down the middle because I was waiting for like a war to break out at yep. any time. And it's just it, so there is Christmas decorations already that already out. And we haven't even gotten to Halloween or or the un, the best holiday Thanksgiving, by the way, um, because it's a food. It's just a holiday based around food. I thought I mean, you were going to say boxing based it a holiday based mm-hmm. it around based it around yeah. turkey. So um, so listen, if you're going to if you're going to skip something, if you're going to seasonal creep on it, might as well be a, something good. We have been doing this project for now, like two or three years now, with Storm Along Cider, and it's the Happy Holidays Barrel Age Spice Cider. And so guess what? So referring to the kind of Christmas end of year yeah. holidays. So it arrived Friday. <clears throat> we're going to taste it out at the Beer Fest today. Okay. It's going out because we're doing ciders also. But we're tasting it right now. But we're going to taste it right now. What I find Fest weird stuff. about a lot of the seasonal creep stuff is, is that the time that it's the actual holiday time? They're sold out. They're sold out. You can't find it. So Sorry. you're drinking this before it's like really what the, it's designed for. Right. Um, but I want to give a shout out to one of my favorite holidays that you seem to just overlook callously. Randall's birthday? No. <laughs> Day Colum- of the Dead. Columbus? Oh, Day? yes, of course. And you don't see any Day of the Dead creep. They're not, like, showing up. You know. Well, they creep on the Day of the Dead, which <laughs> right. creeps, by the way, which cre- is, isn't the next day after that. It's a celebration of life, Ryan. Is yeah. it, it? All Saints Day is this next day, right? Yeah. It's the right. day after Halloween. Is that All Saints Day? Is it the same day? I believe it might be. Okay. But now you're trying to make it, you know, religious. So, or... Day well, of the Dead's religious. I have, I have a couple of... Um... Halloween is religious if you look at the part of the and, right. of it. I have Ooh. a couple of comments about this. One is, you know, this is around the time of year when I go to Florida for the winter. Yes. And there are no seasons down there. There's just hot and hotter. Yeah. Or, or hurricanes. So just Wet and sweaty. Feel feel good about the fact that these things are harbingers of things to come and that they're normal because well normal to me anyway because things cool off and it like you know it is it's the right excuse me it's the right way for these things to happen chronologically well what a lot of people don't understand is like find it as oktoberfest is super quick and no one ever understands it because it it and it's supposed to be yep it's a very distinct time and like once we get the Oktoberfest beers and we get them in th- when they're sold out I can't get more they're done right so if you like Oktoberfest beers like that West Lafana that we we have today Delicious. you gotta get it yep now let me ask you a question what do you think of Storm Along Julio's Liquors Happy Holidays Barrel Age Cider and this is done in lock and key barrels very good yeah it's delicious I wouldn't associate this with the holiday per se well, it's sort of it's sort of like it's, it's more apple it's more spice. Cider. It's apple spice. Yeah, yeah it definitely is uh, apple spice, or as Randall won't say, autumnal. Yeah, <laughs> you're so funny. You've now like re- refused now. All right, I'm not going to be put into that. Box. It's jumped the shark. Yeah, <clears throat> storm along. Try it today at the uh, beer fest. The guys will have it. I want to try something else with you guys today. I was out recently uh, with lunch with the lovely Jennifer, right? And we decided to have, we're going to have a cocktail at lunch. And I was like, ah, we're at a place. I'm like, I'm not sure about the bar system here. Like if they have a good, you know, this right. or that. And you know what I, I, I decided on? I said, you know what I haven't had in a long time is a bourbon and ginger. Just a bourbon and ginger ale. Really simple. Not really a complicated thing. But I drink it and I go, I forgot how good these were. Yeah, because there are they're just simple. So I grabbed uh, for us to try today a Jack Daniels in ginger ale pre mixed cocktail or RTG. Just pointing as it out. Say. This is not a bourbon and ginger ale. 
but for all intents and purposes. Well, okay, like okay. so, all right, so we're getting- Jack you, is a bourbon. They just call themselves a Tennessee whiskey, right? So they, okay, well, yeah, they, I didn't realize we we're going to go into controversy here, but I will yeah. go through the controversy. Sorry. And don't they, get me no. started on ginger ale because the Johnny historic ginger used for whatever. I couldn't really sustain the rant. The I know, three, I know. The three-hour it tour it up. It it up. versus Marianne. For all intensive purposes, and I wanted to do Jack Daniels because the, the, these are, they're using, they're, they're usually using top green, and they're 7% alcohol, too. Right, and most well people done, are very uh, familiar with the Jack and Coke, which is a delicious, easy-to-make I didn't drink. want to do, they do Jack and, and Coke. And now they do Jack and ginger ale. But they so. do Jack and Coca-Cola. You can actually buy that in a can. It's our, it is the real Coca-Cola that they use. But, but it's th- not the Oreo-flavored uh, no. Coca-Cola that we had two weeks ago. But I'm, I'm going to give you something that just came out from them. Oreo now, what flavored? do you think of the ginger ale? I like good. it. I like that, right? It's just it's It's simple but good, right? So I wanted to do this one. This is Jack Daniels. This just came out. Jack Daniels, old number seven brand, Tennessee whiskey mixed with Coca-Cola cherry. Oh, okay. cherry Coke. Cherry Coke. Warren Buffett. All right. I, I want to say this, this one thing about ginger ale, that if you are making mixed drinks, you're probably better off with a ginger beer because yep. most ginger ales are too flat and not really have that ginger kick Won't yeah. stand that up will, to the, will get yeah. lost. Yep. So if you're making stuff and you like that ginger flavor, a ginger beer, which tends to have a little it's bit more good. spice and kick, yep. is probably a better option to make. Uh, I, you know what? I got to tell you, I use Fever Tree, and I don't have to worry yep. about it. Yep. And either one of no, those. But, but they, Randall makes a great it point. It does make a good point. Randall makes a great point. And it's, it's not, not the top just because it's his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because it's on the top of his head. You don't have to agree with me because it's my birthday. We saw on the Doom. All right. Uh, this is good. actually really good. Yeah, that's really good. It's very good, and it, it Ooh, definitely hides seconds. the out. The Happy alcohol. birthday, Randall. Thank you Thank for you. watching. Thank Listen. you for watching, everybody. You're Jack- listening to the birthday edition of It's the Liquor Talking. <laughs> it's about me, Randall it's- Bird, the spirits medium. <laughs> As we finish up and wrap up this uh, show this week, you won't have to deal with this in the future. So thank you for listening to It's the Liquor Talking here on WCRN AM 830 on your dial. And we will be wrapping stuff up. You think that you're going to stay with the beer to the beer fest so we can have a booth with just Randall's booth and yes. just have you wearing the crown? Yes, it's a dunking booth. It's all booth. about yeah. Randall. It's a dunking booth. Yeah. All right. We'll try to see if we can get that done. Thanks, everybody, for coming today. And we all appreciate it. Thank you both for being late. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do you think I'm hurt about that? No, maybe. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir.